Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you the easiest, best recipe for butterbeer you will ever find. A few weeks ago, I put up a video of 20 $1 Harry Potter crafts and you guys loved that video. I'll put a link below if you want to check it out. If you're doing a birthday party or something for your kids, it's got a ton of ideas for favors, decorations, snacks, but I'm so excited now to be bringing you my second Harry Potter video. I've been making butterbeer for years and years and years because I've been throwing Harry Potter parties for years and years and years and you need butterbeer, right? So I've tried a lot of different techniques and this one is my favorite. It's delicious, it's easy, it looks great. I I modeled this after the butterbeer that you get if you're at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal. They serve a really wonderful butterbeer. It looks and tastes just like what you picture from the books, but a lot of people have done kind of dupe recipes off that butterbeer, and it is complex. I mean, it takes a lot of ingredients if you want to get it exact. You can do a Google search and you'll find a ton of really wonderful butterbeer recipes, but they will often have 10 plus ingredients and the actual actions you have to take. It requires a lot of heavy lifting. They'll be, you know, melting things in the microwave or using a pot on your stove top or they're asking you to get out a hand mixer. And for my purposes, if I'm making butterbeer, nine times out of 10, it's for a gathering, right? I'm having a party, a child's birthday, maybe it's Halloween, maybe you're just doing family movie night and you're doing a Harry Potter marathon and you need lots of glasses of butterbeer. You don't wanna be making something that requires that many steps. So I have found where ease meets perfection of taste and look and I've given you this is gonna be the easiest thing you're gonna find so I'm gonna show you two different ways first I'm gonna show you the basic technique which is just three ingredients we're gonna have butterbeer and then we're gonna get that foamy top the little layer on top that gives you that butterbeer mustache. That's gonna be three ingredients. And then I'm gonna talk you through a few ways where you can upgrade the recipe. If you wanna get a little bit more of a complex flavor profile, you can make it even better if you don't mind taking a few extra steps. Both ways are gonna be really, really simple. So for the first one, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start with our actual butterbeer, which is gonna be just cream soda. I'm not gonna do anything to the soda. Cream soda is a great butterbeer um, foundation. It tastes like what you think butterbeer is gonna taste like. I've got it nice and chilled. It's easy to find in the stores. And then I'm just gonna pour some in my butterbeer mug. If you have an actual butterbeer mug, even better. But if not, regular muggle glasses will work. So get yourself a nice layer, and then I'm gonna make the foam. The foam is really the most important part to me. It's what really makes something look like butterbeer and not a glass of soda. And I'm gonna use just this water bottle. It's empty. You can use any sort of bottle that you have. You just need something that you can shake. And then I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream. That's the that's the best ingredient here. Don't do what I do. Once I um, actually picked up half and half, and I tried to use that and it didn't work. So I'm not even gonna really measure too much. That's probably about a cup, maybe. Uh, just eyeball it, you need about a cup, depending on how many glasses of butterbeer you're making. And then the secret ingredient is cream of tartar. So this is what's gonna give us that foamy layer. If I just used the heavy whipping cream and whipped it up, I would have whipped cream. And that's not what we want. We want something a little liquid, frothy, something that gives you the mustache. I've got here one fourth a teaspoon. That's what I'm gonna put in. But this is not an exact science. A little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna dump it in. And then I'm just gonna shake it up. So if I wasn't using the cream of tartar and I tried to do this by hand, it would take forever. But the cream of tartar is gonna make this whip up and froth really fast and just whip it up. And you could use a lot of different bottles. You could use like a condiment bottle. You know those little like barbecue bottles you get for ketchup and mustard? That would be great for this. This is something that you could let the kids help you out with. And it's already starting to form. Again, a lot of recipes call for a hand mixer, and that would take forever, but this way you've got like your bottle of foam that you can keep adding to your butterbeer as you make the glasses. It's already ready. And then I'm just gonna pour my layer onto my soda. And look at that beautiful frothy concoction. It's so pretty. You're gonna get a really wonderful butterbeer mustache. Add a little straw if you wanna drink clean, and that's perfect. Now I'm gonna show you some ways that you could upgrade this drink if you're having a party, right? You might not wanna have just the bottle of soda out that obviously came from a muggle 
grocery store. So you can actually print out a label that says butterbeer and wrap it around the bottle if you wanted to do that. You can make a little butterbeer label for your cream bottle as well. Or if you want to make it look rustic and a little more wizard-like, just decant it into a pitcher. And this is perfect if you're going to add some items, like I'm about to tell you. If you're going to upgrade the recipe, if you put it into a pitcher, that's a great way to mix it all up. And then just pour and pour and pour. I've actually made before like a barrel, a butterbeer barrel to go around my uh, concoction. If you guys would like to see that, I would love to share it with you. Um, so if you wanted to upgrade this, you could use all sorts of extracts to make it taste even better. I've got some vanilla extract here because that's what I had, but you could use so many different things. I'm going to add half a teaspoon. Uh, so vanilla extract is great. I've used butter extract before. That's really good. Uh, you could use butterscotch extract or caramel extract, but just add a little extract in it and then you'll get a great taste in there. And then you can actually add some extract to the cream. I love doing that. It adds just a little something extra. It's nice to make the foam layer itself even better. I'm going to add just one fourth a teaspoon. Um, you know, depending on the flavors you like, try different things. You can totally customize this. And then if you want it to be a little sweet, the foam, add some powdered sugar. I've got that here. I'm going to add a fourth a teaspoon of this. This is great if you really have a sweet tooth. The uh, Butterbeer at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is really sweet. So if you want to really get that flavor, add the powdered sugar to the foam. And there you go. And this could totally be made low carb. If you're doing keto, just use diet soda and the heavy whipping cream is fine. And then don't add any sugar. And it's perfect. But I mean, really... How much better does it get than this? It's a little drizzly today in my home, so I'm actually going to watch the latest Fantastic Beasts movie tonight. It's a perfect movie night, and now I have my butterbeer treat. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to try this. If you have any special tricks for making your butterbeer, I'd love to hear it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to do more Harry Potter videos. I have a ton of Harry Potter ideas that I would love to share with you guys. And hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I do really simple projects every single week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's really good.